Yeah, yeah. Lady Justice in the house. Keeping the balances of justice level with the light of liberty shining bright. You're so silly. What? Yeah, yeah. Right. In this pressable, a people takes a look at rights versus privileges and entitlements. Maybe I will go over and bug those other two. So we got car 234 with Northeast ISD. They're just having a bullshit session. And car 778918N. Yep, bullshit session. On, Not much. What's the plan? Waiting for the record to come. Pick up these pieces here and throw some, hopefully some cat litter on the foot on here. Oh, good deal, man. That's, that's why we're kind cat of litter. So nobody comes. All right. Yeah, yeah. Um, that wrecker is going to pick up this stuff or a whole they nother should, wrecker? I believe that wrecker's coming. Oh, okay. They're I didn't know how it works. Yeah, they'll come since it's, they got the car on there already, I'm guessing. This is obviously the pieces of the car. Yeah, obviously. Hopefully has enough litter to throw down and clean this here. If not, I'll probably get the fire department out here to come do it. Get the fire department out here? So they got a bunch of stuff too, man. Like got to justify here. government, man. It's we, fine. we already told TxDOT about the signs, so they should happily... Oh, that's TxDOT steal? Yeah. So many agencies. Yeah, man. It really is. It's crazy how you navigate all those. You know, I can't keep it all straight. Yeah, I, I only film you guys. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you got to bounce off of each other. Like, hey... Bounce off yeah, of each yeah, other. Yeah, TxDOT. Oh, yeah, man. Let them know. Let them know, yeah. What, do you guys have a, a book that you keep with you to, like, for a uh, procedure on things like yeah, this? Oh, yeah, or? Sure. There's a procedure for everything. Yeah. I bet that's a big book. That's a pretty big book. Yeah. Badge number 25. You guys put them right there like that. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. That's really visible. So how long have you been on the department, Trevino? About a year. About a year, you like it? Yeah. A lot of paperwork, but yeah. A lot of paperwork? <laughs> I mean, he probably has more than me, so. Yeah, we get a lot of paperwork. <laughs> you get a lot of paperwork? Yes, sir. You're with, is that independent school district? Oh, is that what the? School district, yes, sir. Okay. I didn't know that. Yes, sir. And you guys work at night? Yes, sir. 24 hour operation, sir. 24. Where is this school? I'm sorry? Where is this school? We have uh, two located down over here, one off of Jones Moss Burger and uh, Redland Road. And uh, there's a couple other ones if you go right up the road here. Uh, but we go through, through the, whole, uh, the entire school district, actually. You know, I mean, they're spread out everywhere. We got about, if I'm not mistaken, uh, seven high schools, 12 middle schools, and 40, 50 something of uh, elementary schools. Yeah, 40 or 50 something elementary schools. Yeah, that's a, a lot. Like 60, close to 70 uh, properties that are schools and, and buildings that we uh, occupy. Wow. Yes, sir. And so you just go from one to the other all night long? Yes, sir. Patrol there's the parking lots to, uh, and stuff? Fire alarms, fire alarms. Uh, make sure that there's no, you know, nobody on the, on the property trespassing. Right, right. Yeah. We, we do it all, all day, all night. All day and all night. Yes, and that's, that's awesome. we got to keep the schools safe. Yes, sir. Don't yes, sir. want people trespassing on schools. Criminal, schools criminal, are... Criminal activity never stops. Schools are no constitutional zones. I'm sorry? Schools are no constitutional zones. Uh, if you trespass, if you're on a school, like, you don't have rights. There, there are some rights that, that yeah, you, you do have, and other rights, you know, that you got to kind of watch what you do, how you do it. Uh, like, reference to, like, you know, a weapon or whatever. You know, obviously, you can't walk onto the campus with a weapon, you know, whether it be a knife, firearm, stuff like that. Well, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, but, I mean, you, you don't have rights. Um, you don't have a Fourth Amendment right. See, like, right here... I have to be under arrest in order to um, ID. Oh, yeah. But on a school, it's not that oh, yeah. way. We, we ID everybody. Yeah, 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 you can. I mean, not every school has that policy, but a school has the power to enforce that policy. Yeah. Right? Like, see, children, they can be made to wear uh, a uniform. Right? They might not be made to wear one, but they can. The school has the power, right? And so that means they don't have free speech. Clearly. Right? Like, you guys don't have free speech. 
you have to wear a uniform. Yes, sir. Right? And, and so... There are some limitations, yes, sir? Yeah. Nobody that's doing commerce has rights. Well, I mean, everybody has a certain limitation, you know, as to what they can and cannot do. I mean, I mean, it's a right. You don't have to go to a school as well. So, I mean, that's a right as an owner. I mean, well, you don't have to walk on the school campus. That's, that's right. Work. You consent to uh, to go on there just like you consented to join the police department. Yeah. Right? But when you consented, you um, gave up your rights. Yeah, in that situation, yeah. You're right. Well, all your rights. I mean, clearly, right? You don't have free speech because you can't wear what you want. Right? And in fact, with the police, it's, I mean, really precise. You have to have every pin and everything in the exact right spot, right? Yeah. And um, you don't have the freedom of religion because you swore an allegiance to the Constitution, right? So allegiance and religion, that's the same word, right? So the Constitution is like your Bible, yeah. right? So, Especially when you're out here, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so you, you don't have the right anymore. I mean, if you want to quit, right, then you can have your rights back. Yeah. You know what I mean? But when you're at work, like even if you work at 7-Eleven, they can make you wear a uniform. Yeah. Right. They can tell you what you can and can't say. They can um, they can say you can't you, you don't have the freedom of press. Written, that's why it's called a written policy. Like yeah. But when you're when you're under policy, you're not um, you don't have rights. You know what I mean? It's not a democracy. Yeah. When you're at work, it's not a democracy anymore. It's not a republic. It's a dictatorship. Right. Whatever your boss tells you to do, you have to do it or you get your rights back and you lose your privileges, right? Like, I mean, wherever you work, you have privileges. You know what I mean? Like if you're at Seven Eleven, you might get girls' phone numbers, right? That could be a privilege or you guys might get free coffee or you get to speed or like, like you did, you put on your lights and went through that red light, right? That's a privilege. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, and that's fine. You know, badges grant privileges, right? All jobs you, grant you privileges. There's still laws, but, but they're, they're different than the laws that apply to me. You know what I mean? I can't do that under any circumstance. Well, I can if uh, my life is in danger. I can absolutely run a red light, right? I mean, the law doesn't say I have to die in order to, um, you know, follow a code, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. It, to avoid an accident, I can obviously run a red light. But what I'm saying is that I don't get to uh, turn on lights and just go through that you know what i mean because i'm not in uh in privileged land you know what i mean i'm i'm on a different path right and that's okay you know that's why we're we respect you guys you know that's why i respect you guys is because you all voluntarily gave up your rights in order to um to protect mine yeah. right and um and you exchanged them for privileges you know what I mean? And, um, and a lot of people say, you know, oh, badges aren't supposed to grant privileges. It, that's not true, right? All jobs grant privileges. Yes, you know, if you work at Starbucks, you get free, uh, a free drink every hour. That's a privilege, <laughs> right? That's a privilege. But we don't want that, right? <laughs> well, a lot of times police officers get free coffees at 7-Elevens or Circle K's or something. You know, some places give you guys free coffees, you know what I mean? That's a privilege, right? Like military discounts, privileges, right? And, um, and privileges are fine, but they're not rights. But sometimes they look like rights, yeah. they can right? Be, they can be yeah. almost the same, but they're slightly different, right? Because a privilege can be regulated. Yeah. And it can't be denied once it's established. It can't be deprived, right? Like due process, okay? A privilege, not a right. It's called a right. But... It's not a right, okay, because due process depends on whatever process is written, right? So, like, on the police department, you have a process, okay? If, like, somebody files a complaint on you, there's a process. But that process was established by the police department, and every police department can have a different process. As long as that process is established, it must be followed, right? But what the process is can change from department to department. Oh, sure. yeah, no, you see what I'm saying? Right so now. that's the difference between a right and a privilege.